Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Oh, you're quiet tonight. So you got your smelly fish again. Yeah. yeah that make you a little more excited, huh? Wow, well, you are quiet tonight. So yeah, how you like the heat? Hot day today, huh? So you're sleeping a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna open the door. Bring out your food. Okay. Ready for your food? Yeah. So I don't know if the mic is picking up the pressure cooker, but <clears throat> I'm using it to make some hard boiled eggs right now. Okay. <clears throat> Warm out here. Okay. Let's get your food on the table. Scruffy seems a little apprehensive. Maybe nothing hungry. So a few nights ago, I gave you a bunch of extra food. So maybe that's uh, made you less hungry. Okay, well, Scruffy's starting to get into it. So the weather is heating up now, so we're starting our little heat wave. This morning was cold, so I thought maybe there's a chance the heat wave wasn't going to materialize. <clears throat> but I checked the weather report around lunchtime. And then basically, from then on, it was basically saying it's going to start getting hot. So I think, yeah, we're transitioning from, yeah, kind of our cold, cold weather to really hot weather. And uh, this... That short transition this morning uh, probably kept the day cooler than it would have otherwise been. So I expect, it's actually, yeah, according to the weather report, tomorrow is going to be much, much worse. It's actually going to be I think, the worst day of the three by far. So I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Today was kind of manageable, I think, just because, yeah, the morning was so cold. But I don't think we're going to get that tomorrow. So because it was getting so hot, so, so fast, <clears throat> uh, according to the weather report at lunchtime, I decided that it's going to go out for a run early. So yesterday, I mentioned I went for a bike ride for my first time in something like four to five months. And I cut my bike ride short because my leg was starting to, I was starting to notice something kind of like discomfort or pain and I didn't want to re-injure myself. So I cut my trip uh, short. So today, I, I've been kind of testing my leg, make sure I haven't uh, injured myself more. So I was doing my stretching exercises, you know, crossover exercise or whatever. 
Uh, scrub is really distracted for the grooming there. And it seems like it was probably about where I was yesterday, so I don't think I hurt myself, at least permanently, or uh, made it worse. Or <clears throat> Yeah, basically uh, screwed myself up yesterday, so I think I, I think I was okay. And since the heat was going to be so bad tomorrow and the following day, I felt like this would be my last chance to go for a run because uh, at lunchtime the heat was still low enough that I could go outside and it'd be man, a run would be manageable. But if I waited to my normal time, it would probably be too hot. And then, if I really wanted to do it, I should be looking at running at dinner time, right now, because it's starting starting to get, get reasonable again right now. But I didn't want to wait that long, and that's uh, Scruffy's dinner time. So. <clears throat> Went for my run, and then I noticed that my outer hip is starting to bother me a little bit, just as I started running. So yeah, my problem with my uh, hip slash leg uh, has been on the inner inner side of my leg. Um, but yeah, this one, yeah, this this discomfort was on the outside of my leg, and I was not sure what that meant. So I stopped it kind of immediately, and then just started walking a little bit. And then I was able to then eventually get up to a much slower paced kind of jog without noticing any issue. And I did a full lap <clears throat> like that, but it's already starting to get hot, so it's already starting to become uncomfortable, and it was getting hotter as I stayed out there. So after my first lap, I ended up you know, losing losing my pace, and I ended up walking a little bit, and then I tried resuming, and then I noticed my leg hip was starting to bother me again and so at that point I decided I was just gonna walk I wasn't gonna try running anymore so I did two more laps and of walking and it it's getting hotter and hotter and uh, I didn't notice any issues with my hip walking so I think maybe yeah, my leg is fatigued, maybe yeah, I, from yesterday's bike ride and the run before that, the day before, and then you know trying to run today, maybe that's just too much and I need to take it more easy, take it easier. So, so tomorrow I'm probably definitely not running or biking because of the heat, probably do pull-ups or something. And then the following day, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if anything. Maybe I'll just take a rest day, depending on how hot it is. I think it's going to be hotter than today, but the weather report keeps changing, so who knows. Let me get under his neck there. So the script is starting to calm down. So we're almost at food time, I think.
No meow that time. Okay, I think we're about ready here. Get scrappy with one. Okay, there's that meow. Okay, does that mean you want your food now? Or does that mean you just like the pets? Okay, let's get your food. Okay, here's your snowy fish. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> so, let's see. Yeah, I did see Scruffy late this morning. He was sleeping on the deck in different spots, I think, throughout the day. I don't think I got any footage of those spots. It's a little hard to see. And, um, but I... Uh, did see him, uh, yeah, when I brought out the water, I did get footage of that. So he was sleeping um, near the railing, near the closer section uh, behind the table. And yeah, he looked sleepy. <clears throat> so he didn't seem like he wanted to get up when I came out with the water. Yeah, it was already. I think, yeah, I, I brought out the water after I came back from my uh, run slash walk, so it was a little later today. And, yeah, it was already heating up quite a bit. Um, so I went back inside, and then I think after I finished closing the door, that's when he decided to get up and come drink the water. So he was waiting for me to go in. And, and then, yeah, he walked away. Didn't come to the door this time. So, that's all the footage I got today. So, on my way to the park today, I did see the friendly cat. Friend, friendly cat was sleeping in not far from somebody's doorstep. I've seen the friendly cat at this house before. It's uh, one of the houses I see the friendly cat near somewhat often. So I'm kind of wondering maybe if that's the house, maybe they gave him the collar, maybe. I'm not sure. I've seen him in a couple other places, but uh, that house is definitely one of the candidates. And I think that, that was also the house where I saw um, the friendly cat and his pal sleeping on the lawn uh, a couple months ago, hanging out together. And now that I think about it, I think that might have been the house where one day I saw a guy with a power saw cutting stuff and there was a cat on the lawn just sitting there and I guess I can't remember but it might have been the friendly cat and I guess it was interesting that the power saw didn't scare away the cat, just, he just sat there. So, during my run, or slash walk, yeah, there weren't actually that many people out 
Uh, might have been too hot. Probably gonna have to start getting out the sunscreen. Uh, I did bring my you know, long sleeve uh, shirt and uh, my neck gate and my hat. I mentioned, I think I mentioned, uh, I forgot how many months back this was, but yeah, the sh long sleeve shirt I bought was, you know, it was designed for running and athletic stuff, and it was also designed to block the sun, and it had a, was it UPF rating, I think a 50 or something like that, or 60, some high number, and I got a letter saying the shirt had been recalled because the company did some internal testing and they found that yeah the shirts didn't actually meet that rating um, and some of them I think were as low or, or they I think they said some of them were like 30 and so I had the option of returning the shirt or refund or keeping it <clears throat> so I ended up keeping it mostly because I'm not really convinced any of the other competing shirts are actually what they claim to be. So at least this one I kind of know. Okay, it isn't what it claimed to be, but it might be 30. So I've also been continuing to work on my big financial problem. I thought I was kind of done for the day today, but I faxed in more paperwork yesterday, as I mentioned, and I got a call back today from my point guy, and he said he had not received the paperwork. Um, and so I talked to him and I said, well, I sent it in, and actually I got an electronic notification that uh, it looks like, yeah, paperwork had been received and it's process being processed. And so he was trying to track it down and move the balls. Yeah, it looks like Scruffy did a pretty good job eating the food, lifting the bowl clean. But there's two small pieces of kibble left. So anyway, he said he's going to try to track down you know, what happened to the paperwork. He needs to intervene to get a whole bunch of uh, things overridden because I have a very special circumstance which normally would be rejected. So anyway, uh, after I got back from my uh, run, found out he had left the message and you know, he did not find the paperwork and he was requesting I refax it. And so I refaxed it, but the office was already closed by the time I um, faxed it since they're in another time zone. So I think that window may be closed now. It was, yeah, it, it was very time sensitive. It was already a long shot and uh, I'm worried that at this point uh, it's probably going to be too late. I kind of knew it was a long shot to begin with, so at this point I feel like you know, I did everything I could possibly do. There was really nothing I could have done else, elsewise to prevent this. <clears throat> And so if lawyers get involved, we're gonna, we're, uh, my lawyer's going to, uh, I'm going to make a note to tell them I did everything in the power <laughs> to, to help them, so shift the burden to them, or the other, the other opposing side. Okay, folks, I think Scruffy's just going to groom and 
probably leave, so I think I'm just going to get up now. Alright, I put the glove on the table. Okay, yeah, he's taking off. Okay, folks, I'm going to dump the water and go in. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.